Hey ho people, it's Starloser and Kirioff and this is Is It Pure Transcripted? Mr. Kirioff, what the hell is transcripted? Transcripted is a mixture of two incredibly addictive and vastly popular casual gaming styles. The dual stick shooter and the match three puzzle game. Uh, you take control of a nano probe, a microscopic apparatus used to combat disease. Good lord. And you like shoot stuff and it drops stuff and then you link the stuff together to make threes and then you win. Good lord. And also, before we start this, there is a transcripted game on Newgrounds, which is not the same. But, yeah, let's just get that out of the way before we start. Because the, the first thing I did as soon as I got a hold of the game, I googled it and I'm like, you know what? Please, please do not just be a copy of a Flash game that is being sold through Steam. Because I will rage, and it turns out it isn't, which is a good thing. And also, you might have just noticed that I was looking at the controls. You can actually use the Xbox controller, and I do have mine here at the moment, and it looks like I can't actually do anything on this screen with it. I need to use the mouse, which is a bit strange, but whatever. I don't care about Xbox controllers, although this game probably does lend itself to it, what with the dual analog sticks and all the rest of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and do a... I uh, don't really want to continue. I would like to start a new game, so... Maybe we can make a new profile. Yeah, So okay, so we've got a new profile, which is good. And we're going to start a... You do get challenges. Now... These are kind of like achievements, I think. I mean, like it says, available weapons and skills. Your best score, challenge sample one. And then you can kind of go through them. So, I guess everybody loves achievements, Mr. Kirioff. What can I say there? So I like the idea of the oh, uh, oh, skill as well. The what? I do like that. That's, that's that Having like weapons and various mm. things like that, that's a nice little addition to something like this. Well, we've got the, the shooter and we've got the puzzle mode. So, we're going to go for the shooter mode. And we'll show you the puzzle mode if we get the, get the time to do it. So um, so I've played normal shooters before, normal damage. Uh, so we'll just put it on normal difficulty. We won't bother with the massively solid difficulties because we don't want to die when we're trying to show off the game. That would be terrible. In fact, no, hang on. What am I talking about here? If this is one game, ain't it? So you can, that's yeah, good. You can uh, set yeah. the quality yeah, so I was talking about to the puzzle. Mm. In the mm. Yeah, so you got individual settings for the difficulties then. So we'll just put them both on medium, and uh, let's roll. Yeah, yeah, Mr. What did you say your name was? I get it, it's urgent. I already told you, these things take time. The sample is ready for analysis. You are not being very helpful right now. Can you please let me, ah, oh, right. Damn, three more weeks and I would have been home free. No more thesis, no more office hours. Now all I see are black suits. Come in and start giving orders like that. That's the, the dev. <laughs> Hello, Adam. How are you feeling? Not now. Come the interface now, is nice, eh? Watch this. Mm. You have one new message from Professor Dahl. See? It is easy to let people help you without being such a curmudgeon all the time. Nadia. What? Just roll it. And that's the Hello, dev's Adam. dad. <laughs> By now you should be able to guess what's going on. We've caught the interest of the boys upstairs. The incident has been deemed a threat to national security. Your sample is top, let me emphasize, top priority. You need to put down whatever you're doing and get on with it. Until further notice, you stop everything else. Forward me all results from the analysis. I don't know when I'll be back in the lab. We're having a bit of a family crisis. So you're in charge for now. Please, don't screw this up. Ah, oh, feels so good to be trusted. Adam. Mistrust was clearly implied when... Oh, you're right. Forgot to mention this was irony. Sorry. Where's my visual? The vid feedback from the probe should be sinking by now. Electromagnetic interference detected. I am sorry, Adam. Why is the confinement chamber working? The confinement chamber cannot block interference if the source is the sample itself. Remember? Funny. I thought this thing was organic. Affirmative. Preliminary testing and DNA amplification confirm human origin. What the... No way that tissue's human. I do not know what you mean by no way that tissue's human. Shall I run grammar normativity on your question? Now who's being a curmudgeon? Adam, I assure you the sample tissue is human. Sample tissue may appear malformed because deep mutations have destroyed the original cell structures. Here, see for yourself. Transferring manual control to user. Indeed. You can access the experimental database at any time. The database includes oh, all information blowy. gathered during analysis, 
and is updated in real time. Each time an update becomes available, an alert will appear on the right board. Uh, right, energy shield protects you from only energy projectiles, not from direct collision with hostiles. Indeed. Your energy is low and your fire rate is decreased if your energy is low even. Good lord. Order of your screen it. to open the database. Press this key. Go ahead, slugger. Get Go ahead, shot. slugger. <laughs> That's what I used to call my dog. What the hell? <laughs> so, uh, um, aim with the mouse cursor and shoot by keeping the lamp. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. We get, we get this. Proceed towards the deeper layers of the sample. Well, that's messed up. Hello. I've activated the plasma emitter for you to clear a path through the entanglement. Avoid collision at all cost. The nanoprobe is a precision instrument. Be careful. In other words, we do not want to lose our progress. Our progress? <laughs> this is like, what was that film? New where they went inside the bloodstream of the person. Detected. Little spaceships. It just shot at me. What kind of bacteria? <laughs> oh, this shrunk goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Activating the nanoprobe's defensive shield. She's turned the, the shield. shield will only protect you from the enemy projectiles, not a direct collision. Well, I played the hell out of Gallagher when I was a kid. Gallagher. Go wrong. Oh dear. Really? I have always preferred social network games. Oh you dear. would. Must be a generational thing. Oh dear. Like cheesy joke. Good lord. <laughs> Warning. Pathogens approaching. Oh dear. Try to collect the glowing crystals as they drop. Crystal? The doctor has requested them for analysis. My analysis shows the yellow crystals can be used to upgrade our weapons. I will adjust the what? nanoprobe settings accordingly. That's going to be an interesting footnote in my report. Okay, so how do we upgrade our weapons? Right, tab. So, these purple crystals provide a temporary unlimited source of energy for a few seconds, but you won't. Okay. Yellow crystals increase the power of your active weapon. Oh, okay, so it's just... They're just increasing the power as I pick them up, ain't they? The blue cube fragments hold interesting raw data on this new life form. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. You see, like, I, I like the power-up thing. I like getting power-ups on that type of crap. I don't know why, I just do. I just like the fact that Sofa seems more complicated than I was going to give it credit for, to be honest. <laughs> Because from the outside, it just kind of looks like Adam, a stay kind of the kind of arcade shooter. But for me to there's a lot of depth to it already. The majority of these pathogens contain similar nucleotide cubes in their cores. Destroy an enemy pathogen and try obtaining a stabilizing the cube consumes the nanoprobe's energy. But as long as you are holding on to a cube, hostiles will identify you as one of their own and ah. will not collide with the probe. My shield. Why is it shaking? This is a proxy benefit of holding a cube. The cubes boost the power of your shield. You thereby receive additional defenses to enemy projectiles. But the probe feels heavier. Your movement is slowed, as necessary to stabilize the cube. You also cannot use your weapons. You can only reroute their power to fire the cube in a given direction. So what that is doing is the little cube, you pick the cube up and they don't attack it. It's kind of like... Uh, Enzymes with the active surface, and you pick up the, you know, Ooh, the enzymes are designed pretty. to get the certain Analysis thing inside of them, shapey fit. It's all biochemistry because, of course, I've got a biochemistry cubes. degree. Activate them each with a yeah, watch, they'll ignore me now. I'm one of you, I'm not a filthy <laughs> nanoprobe. Oh shit, I am. Um, this looks like some kind of alien freak womb. Die. What's this? Alien egg. Alien. Oh, we'll fire that into there. DNA DNA. Adam. Zing. I now have enough data to continue the analysis Bathed alone. In the I will inject a few more nanoprobes and compile a summary for you and Professor Dahl. Nice work, boss. Yeah, nice work. Love it. My nanoprobe looks like a donut. Mm, I could eat a donut right about now. <laughs> <laughs> One new message from Professor Dahl. This mm. is phenomenal. But are either facing a form of alien contamination from outer space or the most <laughs> brilliant space. bioengineering I've yet seen. I'm supposed to visit the first victims in a few hours, but in the meantime, we must find a way to stop the disease from metabolizing. The pharmaceutical bigwigs are already circling here at the hospital, whispering about contracts and partnerships and parasites. 
we weren't their first choice either. I'm sure they'd rather have this research done in-house, but they're desperate. We've got to stay one step ahead of them, Adam. Treating a disease is not the same as curing one, and these people are in the business of treatment. There's no money in cures. For that reason, you must stay vigilant. Beat them at their own game. Now's your time to shine. Don't tempt me to think I've made a mistake. Adam, I have new information on the pathogen. Take a look at what the probes are finding deeper in the sample. Is that... DNA? No. Deoxyribonucleic acid as we know it tends to behave similarly in all organisms. This pseudo-DNA is functionally different. It could be the signature of a nano-engineer, or it could be natural. We do not know. The analysis remains incomplete. But these chains are made of the same nucleotide cubes we encountered earlier, which regulate the disease's metabolism the same way actual DNA would. So all I gotta do is break the chain. And we slow or stop the progress of the disease. Headshot. Indeed. To stop the disease at a macroscopic level, multiple probes must be injected into the host. Piloting the probes is not a task I am currently able to perform, since nearly all of my processing power is dedicated to analysis. You will not like this next part. You are the only one who can pilot the probes without Professor Dahl, but you are pretty good with those things. I attribute it to all that gaming. And Mom said it was a waste of time. Preliminary tests indicate a structural flaw in all of the pseudo DNA. Oh, Christ, how much of this stuff is there? What the a hell? A series of identical colors seems to cause a critical weak point in the chain. Yeah, Launch this the cubes to create a grouping of three identical colors. This is what the flash colors, game is like. And the shock should cause that part of the sequence to collapse. Destroy enough nucleotides to fill the progress bar at the top of your screen and the disease's metabolism for the whole region will fail. <laughs> right, okay, so what, what I was trying to explain is that little chain of where you fire the, the, the same colored blocks in and then they, like, the chain collapses and once it's all gone you kind of win. That's what that's all the Flash game is. Um, so it's, it looks like they've built upon the Flash game, but honestly, bloke, how much, how much stuff was that there? That was like... <laughs> Like, is that even needed in this Adam, type of game? You must again, the she's going again. And oh, God. The chain to create a group of three or more of the same color. Oh, what the hell? To complete a sample, you must destroy enough cubes in the chain. Yeah, okay, I know, I know this, I know this. 500 hints. Yeah, no, I know all these. Get lost. I mean, it's, it's nice that they've put a lot of effort into making sure you know what's going on, but... That, that's, that was such a load of text and speech. It's just... Wow. Good call. It's working. Of course it is. Yeah. Now fill the progress bar to effectively stop the pathogenic metabolism in this region. I mean, it's a nice looking game. And, and I can see this, you know, you could waste some time on it. The only thing, like, that's my problem is... I don't think this is anything I'd really play though, really, because it's like... Uh... I can see it getting repetitive to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think that's the problem, yeah, fairly repetitive. Because there's not really... There's not so much of a like a puzzle aspect to it, is there? It's more just... You move and you shoot. It's... Yeah. I mean, it, it does have the, the power-ups and stuff like that, but it, it's not like... Um... It, uh, it seems a bit, like a little bit misguided, like why is there this much emphasis put on the story? I mean, okay, it makes it a more filled out offering. Oh, you little bugger. No, because like at the start, I honestly thought that this was going to be like a bloody, the Flash game with basically a little bit of that extra crap added on and away you go. So, I mean, they have proved me wrong there, you know, which is a good thing. And it does look nice. To, to be honest, it does look nice. It's nice and crazy glowy and all the rest of it. Hmm. And I do like the design of it, especially the background as well. The background is it's really nice. Yeah, it's like multi-layered almost, ain't it? Like, like a more yeah. dimensional type thing. I suppose it comes down to if you're the type of person who likes playing sort of this kind of game, you know, very, very score-based. You know, kind of... 
I wouldn't say speed run, but you know the kind of thing where it's all about the scoreboards and yeah, doing yeah. better than your yeah, friends yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. Then it, I think I could probably see the appeal, but I've never really been one for that kind of game. So hold a cube. Do not try to eliminate all hostiles, Adam. Instead, use the cubes to destroy the chain as quickly as possible. Ah, okay, what's this? Yeah, so this is where it's starting to pile loads of stats on onto me. So you can obviously work against yourself, you know, try and get better results and all the rest of it, like Kiri said. If you like scores One and getting better high scores, then Dahl. I'll best be quiet anyway. <laughs> In just a few hours, we made leaps and bounds past the so-called experts the soups have brought in to work on this. They don't have the slightest idea what they're facing, neither Big Pharma nor the government agencies. And to think they used to defame our studies as fringe research. <laughs> I want you to compile all of Nadia's data so far. Every new mutation will require a unique strategy to match, but if there's a pattern, I want to know about it. As expected, Professor Dahl's less than clairvoyant request has long since been completed. I have already compiled all the requested data, Adam. While analysis on the origins of the disease remains incomplete, we still cannot determine if it's of natural or artificial origin. What is obvious is that this pathogen is highly adapted to succeed in the environment of a human host. I am giving you access to a research project, initiated by yours truly, which allows you to buy upgrades for your nanoprobes. Use the experiment points earned during your sample analysis to purchase the upgrades of your choice. I recommend upgrading your nanoprobes immediately. When you are finished viewing the research module, proceed to the next sample. Oh, and Adam? You're welcome. Okay, so this is the upgrade thing, which is like, you know, I like this kind of stuff. Everybody likes this. So uh, it looks like we can do the shield. Uh, no, actually, that's polymer. Uh, that's strength. Like the, it's the armor, I guess. The, sh the shield's obviously the shield. And that is the weapon. So we spend everything we've got in the weapons. In fact, I don't think we can. Um, I think it's because I've just wasted it into that. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm loving it. Shields and weapons, what can I say? Um... It looks like quite an impressive tech tree for the type of game this is, actually. Yeah, it, it looks... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of... I, I, I don't know, it feels like kind of a strange one, this one, because it, it's the kind of game that I don't think I'd play, but the sheer amount of effort that's been put into it, the way it looks, the way... You know, the, the way it's a combination of two different... two different types of game. And the fact that they've put, like, a massive story in and everything, and... It's almost like it doesn't fit together the type of game it is and what's yeah, been it's done with bit, it. It's like a bit weird, eh? It's like a bit of everything almost. Like, I mean, I wouldn't have... Would I have thought any less or any more of this game if it just said, look, here's here's the game. Uh, th this is like your tech tree. Get on with it. Instead of all the... You know, like the dialogue it's got in it. And the story and... You know, so I, I didn't kill it. I suppose it's like if you if this is the kind of thing that you'd play, it, it's like a massive bonus because it, let's face it, games like this do not often have a story. Oh yeah, or, I'd say, you know, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I mean, it's in its uh, you know, it's in, it, in its in its genre, it's actually offers quite a bit more mm. than the typical game. Makes it quite unique, just the fact that it's so detailed. For what it is, it's it's massively detailed. Oop. This should be it, this now. Yeah. Oh, one more. Ooh, love it. Yeah. So yeah. What do we think of Mr. Kirioff? What what is the uh what's the what's the lowdown? And actually have we got any copies to give away? Uh we've not for this one, no. No, no. 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 I I do get confused so in my old age. <laughs> it's well just let's so much to keep track of some. Good lord. Yeah, chaps of our worth. We get so much stuff all the time. It's just <laughs> <laughs> it's overflowing with goodies. Overflowing with goodies. Well, transcripted is uh seven pound nineteen until the 18th of September, when it's £7.99. 
Mm. And actually, you know, I, it's kind of a strange one because I've already said this is not the kind of game I'd, I'd play, but for the genre that it is, for, for what it is, I'd say you're getting a lot for your money than, you know, a lot more than you would from other games of its type because, I mean, it's got separate different settings for the puzzle in the shooter. You've got a storyline, you've got a massive tech tree, there's, you know, upgrades, there's, there's, there's loads of stuff attached to it that you wouldn't normally get. So, let's say for a game of this of this genre, then it, it's I'd say it's pure. Yeah, I think I'd have to agree. If if you're into games, you know, where you can really try and build up your high scores and you know fast reactions, puzzle games, things like that, then you probably will enjoy this. Is it a game I'll play? Uh, probably not. But the time I've spent with it, it has been fairly enjoyable. The only thing I can't seem to get my head around is like the pointless story seems a bit like it just gets in the way of the game. I don't know. So yeah, make your own mind up, guys. It's it's sort of it depends on you know whether you like this type of game. So we've been Starlosa and Kirioff, and make sure you follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Game, and follow Kirioff. He is at Kirioff, unsurprisingly. And um, I think we'll catch you next time, Mr. Kirioff. Really, indeed, sir. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Oh, and click the links in the description as well. Bye bye.